Welcome friends to another video. Welcome to another episode of 12 Scented Months. This is a mini series that I started last year and today I'm going to talk about 10 fragrance recommendations for the month of June or better said for a scented June. These are 10 fragrances for my collection designer and niche fragrances. So let's go ahead and start with the first one and the first one comes from the house of Christian Dior and this is Dior Eau Sauvage. A classic fragrance, a real man fragrance that smells really great, amazing. A uh, fragrance that's very versatile. You have a very beautiful combination between bergamot and uh, rosemary and basil in this one, which I really appreciate. Very long lasting and very good projection on my skin. I don't know on other people's skin, but on me, this is a excellent fragrance. I highly recommend all its flankers because they are all great. Therefore, my first recommendation for a scented June comes from the house of Dior, and this is Eau Sauvage. I highly recommend the whole line. The second one, it's a uh, new release from uh, my favorite niche house, from Aqua di Parma, and this one is called Aqua di Parma Colonia Frutura. An amazing creation. I really love this fragrance. I love how it performs. I love how it smells. It's a very green interpretation of the original Colonia DNA. The original Colonia came to the market in uh, 1916, so it's a very, very old fragrance and it spawned a lot of flankers. I have uh, in my collection Colonia Pura, Colonia Intensa, Colonia Essenza, which I really love. I do like the original Colonia, but uh, I don't like the performance that uh, I get on my skin. Therefore, I'm always looking for the best flankers to the original. And this one, for me, is one of the best, especially in terms of performance. Colonia Futura uh, features a very beautiful sage and vetiver combination inside, coupled with uh, the original Colonia DNA, mainly the citruses, and I really appreciate the way it smells and how, uh, let's say, versatile Colonia Futura actually is. I've seen a lot of people saying that this is a, a very mature type of fragrance for a very mature audience, for a very elderly people. Let me totally disagree with uh, those statements made by others. This is a very beautiful fragrance and I highly encourage you to give it a try. My second uh, entrance in this list, Colonia Futura from the house of Aqua di Parma. Next one up comes from another uh, designer house, which... Uh, it's falsely promoted as a niche house. This is Maison Martin Margiela and the fragrance I'm going to talk about is 1969 Woodstock Music Festival. This is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I am not a big fan of uh, this house's uh, creations, but this music festival is really, really beautiful. Especially if you love patchouli. If you love patchouli, if you love cannabis, because this one features cannabis, and I've seen uh, people comparing this one to Nasumato Black Afghano, but uh, they are nowhere uh, um, similar. They don't smell like uh, the cannabis in uh, Maison uh, Marti Margiela's music festival. is very subdued. You only get hints of cannabis, but you do get a very beautiful patchouli note. Very beautiful uh, creation with a very good performance, very good sillage and projection. And I see this one being worn also in June, mainly because the temperatures right now are uh, basically similar to spring, at least where I live. So uh, they are quite moderate. Therefore, in the evening especially, I see this one being worn really, really nice. This is a very sensual fragrance. It's very cozy, very comfortable at the same time. So, I highly recommend it, music festival from Maison Martin Margiela. Next one up comes from uh, the house of Penhaligans, and this is a very beautiful fragrance if you love florals. This is Ostara. If you love Narcissus, this is the fragrance to go. Very, very beautiful combination between Narcissus and uh, beeswax. You also get some aldehydes, you also get some uh, citruses, you also get some woody accords. A very, very long-lasting fragrance on my skin with very good projection and uh, good sillage. This is again a fragrance for, uh, let's say, the moderate temperatures that you're going to get in June and also for evening time. This is also, again, very sensual. 
very comfortable, very cozy, very elegant and clean at the same time. And I simply love the way that it smells. Ostara from the house of Penhaligans. Highly recommend this house. Next one up in this uh, list comes from the house of Manchera. And this is Kumkat Wood. A very, very nice, freshy, woody, aromatic fragrance. You get a lot of spices, but uh, to my nose you get a lot of pepper inside this one. Coupled with uh, some uh, flowers and also with a very beautiful note of cedar. This to me feels like the premium version of a designer fragrance that I owned a couple of years ago called Lalique White. Unfortunately, that one didn't uh, have uh, the best performance on my skin. It wasn't uh, great. It wasn't bad either, but still I would have preferred it because it smells really nice to be uh, more powerful. And fortunately, Kumkat Wood from the house of Manchera manages to uh, solve these problems for me. Therefore, for me, Kumkat Wood is a premium variant of Lalique White. I highly appreciate it. I do love the way that it smells. You get that beautiful blast of, uh, of um, peppery notes coupled with Kumkat, which is a uh, citrus note. Also coupled with that beautiful cedar note in the base. I really love this one. Also, performance-wise, this is really nice on my skin. Very good longevity, very good projection and good sillage also. An all, an all year round type of fragrance if you want because you can wear this one in different seasons and uh, in different uh, scenarios. Next one up on this list comes from the house of Tiziana Terenzi and this is a very beautiful green fragrance with a uh, balsamic tone. This is 19 March from Tiziana Terenzi. I love this fragrance because I get very good longevity on my skin Projection-wise, I would say it's uh, moderate at best, and uh, the sillage the same, but I simply love how it smells. You get a very beautiful um, fur note in this one, combined with uh, other ingredients, with uh, lavender, for example. This is an aromatic fougere made by Tiziana Terenzi. So if you love barbershop type of uh, fragrances, you're going to definitely love 19 March. This uh, simply smells um, elegant, masculine, and mature at the same time. Very good for office environments, for example. Very good for uh, semi-formal and formal occasions. And because it isn't a very heavy, very dominant uh, composition, I do see this one being worn excellent in June, for example. Highly recommended, 19 March from Tiziana Terenzi. Next one up, my beautiful cardamom, my beautiful vetiver at the same time. This is from the house of uh, Alexander J and this is called the Majestic Vetiver. A beautiful interpretation, a very long lasting fragrance that's best suited for spring and summer, also fall, best suited for moderate to high temperatures, a beautiful interpretation of cardamom and vetiver. Very fresh, very clean, very elegant, very uplifting uh, at the same time. A fragrance that I uh, simply adore. It's that great. Very high quality ingredients and I simply love the design of this bottle also. Actually I love um, the whole lineup from Alexandre J. Uh, the whole 1920 Art Deco line. A very uh, interesting interpretation. Quite unique if you ask me. It's um, a refreshing uplifting cardamom combined with a green sunny vetiver this time around and uh, because this is a unisex fragrance i can actually see this one being worn also by ladies performance wise as i said this is excellent the majestic vetiver from alexandra j highly recommend this house i'm a big fan uh, of their creations next one up on this list comes from the house of uh, juliet has and this is vanilla vibes yeah you wouldn't expect a uh, vanilla based fragrance to be on a um, let's say summer list because june is the first month of summer but this one is perfectly made for this scenario because as the name suggests you're gonna get vanilla vibes it isn't a heavy dominant gourmand vanilla in this one you get uh, vanilla tonka bean and benzoin in this um, fragrance but you have some very, very beautiful sandalwood combined with salt and also with orchid. So it's an and also musk. 
Therefore, this is a very interesting composition. It isn't heavy leaning. It's quite airy, I would say, at least on my skin. I get very good longevity with uh, the fragrance. Projection-wise and the uh, sillage, I would say, are moderate. And, curiously enough, I do wear this one in warmer days, even with uh, higher temperatures. It simply works. And if it works, it means that it is great. Vanilla vibes from the house of Juliette as a gun. Really love the bottle design. I really love uh, the colors because uh, the bottle was made like this to, I don't know, to, in order to render an Indian sunset. So I highly appreciate the coloration of this bottle. Next one up on this list comes from the house of Cartier and this is my, fra my favorite fragrance from uh, the whole line. The line is called Declaration and uh, the fragrance that I'm gonna recommend you is Declaration Essence. I simply love this fragrance mainly because it's a fresher interpretation of the original Declaration which I also have and uh, appreciate and love. But in this one, you get a orange note added, which uh, gives another dimension to the whole classic uh, Declaration DNA. So therefore, to me, this one is a bit more fresher, it's a bit more um, fruitier at the same time. And I really appreciate uh, the fragrance, especially in higher temperatures compared to the original Declaration. Very good longevity, very good projection and sillage on me. Therefore, I highly recommend it. I recommend the whole line. With the exception of uh, Declaration d'un Soir, which I personally do not enjoy wearing, but I do recommend Declaration Essence, Declaration. I do recommend Declaration Lo if you love um, aquatic fragrances with a very beautiful grapefruit note inside. And I highly recommend Declaration Le Parfum, which is an amazing fragrance for cold weather. Nonetheless, Declaration Essence is the one that I picked for a scented June. And the last fragrance on this uh, list comes from the house of Disquare. This is a discontinued hidden gem, if you ask me, mainly because it's um, somewhat unique and at the same time it has a very interesting note inside, Hemlock, which uh, simply transforms this fragrance into something different. This is Potion Blue Cadet from the house of Disquare. Such a beautiful fragrance, such a beautiful warm or hot weather fragrance. I do own the original potion, that one, it's a uh, different composition compared to this one. That's an ambery fragrance and it's one of the best that you can actually smell with uh, very good uh, performance. This one is the total opposite to that one. That one is um, warmer, it's cozier. This one, it's cooler, it's fresher, it's uplifting, it's energizing. It's uh, a bit green at the same time, it's a bit citrusy and also woody, just like the House of D-Squared has always made their fragrances. I simply love D-Squared Potion and D-Squared Potion Blue Cadet for what they are. I love the performance that I get with this one and it's a treat every single time that I decide to wear it, especially in hot, hot weather. It simply works. Unfortunately, it got discontinued with uh, all the other fragrances from the old line made by D-Squared. Unfortunately, it's uh, almost impossible to find it and to buy it. I was lucky, I managed to secure this 100ml bottle and uh, fortunately I have it and I can enjoy wearing this one for the coming years. These are my uh, top 10, I wouldn't say actually top 10, these are my 10 recommendations for the month of June, for a scented June. These are uh, niche fragrances and designer fragrances, which I highly recommend, which I highly appreciate. As always, try to buy samples or decants to test them out on your skin, to see how they perform, to see how they interact with your skin's chemistry, and only afterwards go ahead and purchase a full bottle. If you are interested in decants, I started uh, decanting my whole collection uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, but uh, I decided to actually um, decant and to also export my decants abroad. Unfortunately, I will only work in Europe and um, Europe alone. If you are interested to, to buy decants from uh, the fragrances that, I, that you see in this video and from all the fragrances that I have in my collection, I'm going to leave in the description of this video an email address where you can contact me 
and uh, there we're gonna talk about everything Dickens prices and um, everything else therefore if you are interested in uh, purchasing Dickens I'm only decanting at 10 ml so be advised I'm gonna wait for your email and we're gonna talk there as always my friends thank you for watching thank you for uh, your attention be safe be good and remember smell good feel good peace